Thanks for watching. K E 7 U U M. I'll try to make this short. So, there's my one to one ballon I made with um, 10 gauge automotive wire. Um, and we already went through all that. So, I ain't going to do that. You got an SO239 chassis mount um, right there. And because the wire was so thick and heavy and it didn't go, it didn't want to go into the mount very well. So I used a um, alligator clamp, put the wire on there, soldered on there. Anyways, and for right now, this is not how I had it while I was testing it. Uh, I just got it up and around insulator right there. Um, I'm trying to remember. I don't remember exact measurements. And as I was as I was actually testing it, it was mostly both ends were basically give or take a foot the same height. Um I hate that. Sorry. Um I try not to do that, but the ballon and the SO239 were down a lot lower. We're down pretty low. Um, it was, you know, only a couple feet off the ground. And I think the other ends were closer to eight. Because of where I did it tonight, I didn't quite have the room in the yard at the position I was at to actually get them both up and stretched out. I had one of them in an L shape at the end which may or may not have been contributing to not coming out correctly. On 28400, of course, my MFJ was bouncing between 28398 and 28402 or something like that. It was going back and forth even when I wasn't touching it. Um, I actually got it down to 1.5, and I think it was like um, X equals um, something resistance um, of like seven. <clears throat> I plan on playing around with it soon again and getting it dialed in a little bit better. Um, but one thing is this coax is not um, electrically 100% correct just in itself. And I don't really have, I don't have a lot of really extra coax to play around with. So I can't, and I tried it. I tried two other pieces and I tried to make them shorter. And it didn't, it, it didn't do any better. My guess, because I'm going to have to, it probably going to want um, closer to a quarter wave to make the jumper um, electrically correct. My guess is, you know, and that's on 10 meters. That's like eight and a half feet. So there it is. It worked. I could definitely use it. And it's... Um, the last I checked, it's higher on a low frequency. So, I means I have to extend it. And speaking of extending it, let's come up here. So, here's one leg of the dipole. I'm struggling to completely understand because I see mixed things. So, I've got the wire coming here. Then going through there, wrapping around. And is that... It's like, where do I measure it from? Where, where is it stopping? Um, and if I, even though this is wrapped up like this, because I've been pulling it through and rewrapping it or letting it go up, letting it go out and rewrapping it to adjust it. And that's been working. But if I cut the end, even after it's wrapped, will that still adjust it? I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to find out hopefully tomorrow. Um, anyways, this video is almost five minutes long and... I've got to find my intro video that's on my SD card that's not on my phone because I had to do a factory reset on my phone because of all the crap that happened last week. But you know what? God is good. God is great all the time. And even when we don't deserve it, um, <clears throat> he uh, helps me get through little projects like this. And to all my haters, I love you. So does my dog and the neighbor's dogs. Hey, 
Um, have a blessed day, evening, morning, afternoon, whenever you watch this.